so many of our friends died that something had to be done about it. That is Formula One legend Sir Jackie Stewart. He started racing in 1961 at just 22 years old and quickly found success. Racing ace, Jackie Stewart. It was a kind of magic ride, actually. Big magic ride. But the world of Formula One was also a death trap with few safety precautions. In almost every circuit, there were no safety barriers. As Jackie discovered during a pivotal championship race in 1966. It was pouring with rain. Got up to the part of the racetrack that's famous for its speed. There was a huge river of water. I got it full-blown and I dropped off a telegraph pole, I dropped off a, a, a woodcutter's hut. Jackie lay badly injured in his car for almost half an hour. Finally got me out of the car, took me into the barn of a, a farmhouse, and I was burning, you know, so I, got, I was coming in and out of consciousness. It was during his recovery from the accident that Jackie realised things had to change. He'd had a lucky escape compared to many. It was a strange world at that time because we were losing friends all of the time. And the lack of safety precautions were clearly to blame. I'm off the ground completely there, probably doing 180 mile an hour. And there's no runoff area, there's no barrier. That's what we were racing against. Jackie knew he was one of the few people who might be able to bring about change. Something had to be done about it, by which time I had won a couple of world championships or so, and therefore I had power. He started to campaign for improved safety and racetrack barriers, even persuading other drivers to boycott a big race. I closed the Nuremberg Ring because I was then chairman of the Grand Prix Drivers Association. But not everyone was on board. The changes would cost big money, and critics thought that safer tracks could detract from the sport's excitement. I mean, I got a lot of threats from my life and abuse from the organizers, but I was also winning. And that was very difficult for them to forget. Eventually, the sports governing body agreed to install crash barriers at the 1969 Spanish Grand Prix. Soon after, they appeared on all major race circuits. I'm forever proud that I was able, against incredible odds, uh, to close down some of the biggest racetracks in the world because they wouldn't put their house in order. <laughs> 